Lego, where's the Ryan Donato trade video? Well, I wanted to put it off for a little bit because we knew that there was going to be another trade between these two teams, the Minnesota Wild and the San Jose Sharks. So I was like, okay, let's wait it out. This Donato news is indeed something we want to cover, but we'll wait until the Devin Dubnik trade gets done too. So what we have here are two separate trades made by the Wild and the Sharks against each other on the same day that have apparently been in the works for a while. The first trade happened a few hours ago. It was Ryan Donato from the Minnesota Wild in exchange for a third round pick in 2021 from the San Jose Sharks. Now, what the Sharks are essentially doing here is they're using their third round pick and they're swapping it for a 24-year-old second round draft pick from the 2014 draft in Ryan Donato, a guy who has played with the Bruins. He was very good in college before he suited up with the Bruins, but but he had a few interesting years with the Minnesota Wild. 62 games played 23 points this most previous season. He's an interesting guy. He's going to be getting better as he gets older, projectedly speaking. And for the Wild, what they're doing is essentially just getting themselves a little bit more future. I always remember when Ryan Donato was with the Harvard University Crimson, where he was an absolute monster tearing apart the NCAA scene over there. But he is going to be going over to San Jose. We'll see what he ends up doing with the brand new team, his third team in the most previous two seasons, which is going to be very interesting to see indeed. But that's not all we have, because we have another trade here. It is Devin Dubnik, the Minnesota Wild goaltender, making $4.3 million until 2021. He's going over to the San Jose. Jose Sharks 2, and it's reported over here by Michael Russo that it's going to be Dubnik and a 7th to San Jose in exchange for a 5th round pick in 2022. The Wilds are also retaining 50% of Dubnik's salary, which is going to be interesting to see because everybody was kind of harping on him. Dubnik really was not all too great this most previous season. He had a 3.35 goals against average and an 8.90 save percentage. It was a really bad year for Devin Dubnik. So for the Wild, they're probably going to need themselves an extra goaltender or two, unless they feel like Capo Kakinen is a guy who can step in full-time next year, either as a backup or a 1A, 1B situation. But for the Sharks, apparently, according to sources, the plan is to go with Jones and Dubnik, which a lot of people have been criticizing because, well... Martin Jones wasn't all too great either. The Sharks in general weren't really all too much of a good team regardless. So right now it apparently looks to be Jones and Dubnik as the 1A, 1B. They're planning to see if at least one of these guys bounces back because when these guys were good before... They were pretty good. Martin Jones, I remember when he was a guy going from LA to Boston back over into California and San Jose, he spent a few years as a legitimately good number one starting goaltender. Same could be said about Devin Dubnik. Remember when he was getting swapped around everywhere? He was good in Edmonton in 2013. Then he went over to Arizona. He was pretty good there. Then when he started out with the Wild, it was pretty good for him. But Dubnik now is 34 years old, and that's not really a part of his game anymore. So what the Sharks are hoping for is that either Jones or Dubnik will bounce back. And they're also hoping for short-term, immediate success from a guy like Ryan Donato, who indeed can get better. He's only 24, but who certainly does have room for improvement. So talk to me in the comments what you think about these two trades. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And bye.